Hey guys, Matt from Addicted to Tools and I'm taking you through three different styles of pliers that I've used over the years, what I think about them and what I'm using at the moment. So let's have a look. So what we're looking at is what I would call the lower end, medium end and uh, higher end range of pliers. And you can go lower and higher, but I wouldn't probably go outside this range. Um, what I first started off when I was an apprentice was with the Crescents. Um, good for the price, I think they're about $40 here in Australia, so they're not too bad, good for the apprentice. Um, overall, they're not too bad. What I find is cutting, they're just a little bit too tough. Um, you do that every day for years on end, you're really gonna start to strain yourself, and why should you really strain uh, while working? Um, what you'll find is with these sort of pliers, you actually have, with the cutting, you have one side that's blunt, so it's actually flat, and the other side that's actually sharp. Um, and with these, the sharp side isn't that sharp. So that's why you're looking at a tougher cut. And um, But overall, the, the handles are nice. Um, I don't like the glossy finish, I like the more matte finish. And But they do stay on, which is great. Um, overall, not too bad, I would probably give them a three, three out of five, so not too bad, but um, definitely only a beginner's sort of plier. Then we move up to the medium, which is basically your channel locks. Um, I had channel locks for the last 13 years. Um, absolutely loved them, didn't think there was much wrong with them. I did find a few problems. The main one with the channel locks is the gap at the end here. I'll take a, um, I'll give you a close up of that. And basically what it is, is the ends don't touch. So I've found a few times where I've really tried to grab onto a cable and pull it, um, only little stuff, and it doesn't, I, I can't even get a hold of it. So what I've had to do is grab someone else's pliers or some needle nose pliers, just anything else to hold onto it. And what you'll find with the channel locks as well is one side is blunt and the other side is sharp. The sharper side is sharp, and that's what'll give you that better cut. So it's a lot better than the Crescents, but overall I would probably give these maybe a four out of five. And but one of the other main problems is the actual handle itself. As you can see, I pulled off the handle. I've had these slip on me many times and throughout the day I've had to bash them back on. So that's definitely a downside of the channel locks. I even know guys that have taken these handles off and put them onto other um, pliers. So, Overall, probably four, four out of five. Um, not bad, but um, there's definitely better. So now we move up to the higher end, and you're looking at probably $85, I think I paid for these. Um, these are the high leverage ones. You can get the other ones for about $15 less. They are just your normal combination pliers. And what you'll find with these is the great end, they obviously touch. The finish is amazing, that's definitely true. Um, and what you're looking at with the cutters on this one is it has two cutting sides, not one. Um, so that'll be a massive factor, especially over time. You can feel the difference. These are actually 15 more shorter than the channel locks. So you're looking at a different leverage, um, but with the actual pivoting point higher up, it's probably about the same actually. So these are, that's why these are the higher leverage. Great at cutting, absolute breeze. The ergonomic handle is great. I love the matte finish. Um, the plastic on it is great, feels great. And I'm getting used to the size of it being a little bit smaller, but overall, absolutely great. I would recommend these if you can afford it. Um, obviously, I would wait for a sale. Um, any way to get the price down is great, but they're what I would recommend and that's what I'm using now. So. I hope that's been uh, informational for you guys when you're looking for new pliers in the future. Definitely look at different ranges, different styles. There's a lot of other styles out there that I, I haven't used. So definitely let me know what you think of these pliers. Which ones do you like? Do you use the channels? Are you a Crescent fan? Are you a Nipex fanatic? Um, there's Marvels. There's all sorts of other ones. Let me know what you're using out in the field and what you think of all, all the pliers you've seen and uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure to check out my Instagram page, Addicted to Tools, and uh, take it easy, guys. Peace.